On for the president of the United States. Ted Cruz, a Republican senator from Texas, is the first major party, ca party candidate to announce his bid for presidency. Now, there are advantages to being first. We're finding out if the early bird gets the worm. I am announcing that I'm running for president of the United States. 595 days until Election Day, Republican Senator Ted Cruz launches his campaign. I believe in the power of millions of courageous conservatives rising up to reignite the promise of America. Cruz first made the announcement on Twitter, becoming the first presidential hopeful to officially announce a run. With this long extended nominating process, uh, you have to go early. And he's doing the right thing by going early. Political expert Bob Levy says being early should help Cruz's chances. A recent CNN ORC poll of potential Republican candidates shows Cruz in the middle of the pack with just 4% support. If you're one of the lesser known candidates, which Ted Cruz is, uh, deciding to run early is really a good idea. Get your name out there, let everyone know you're running. Be one of the first people to uh, get the publicity that you need to uh, start winning those early primaries and caucuses. Cruz is known as one of the more conservative candidates. He made a name for himself in 2013 when he gave a 21 hour speech on the Senate floor as part of a filibuster. Cruz's problem is going to be there will be other very conservative candidates, and they'll all be trying hard to see who can out conservative each other. While Cruz got a jump on the other candidates by being willing to go first, he won't be alone in the candidate pool for long. I expect many more announcements now that we have this one out and in the open. And other Republicans expected to run include former Florida Governor Jeb Bush, Senators Marco Rubio and Rand Paul, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, and Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. Expected to run on the Democratic side, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley, and former U.S. Senator Jim Webb. The latest.